Hey everyone, Randy Solar here. Here's the first lesson. It's the warm up. It's the first thing that I show new students when they come in to take lessons. So you may have already uh, gotten this lecture from me, but this is a little video to help you help remind you how to do it when you get home uh, and you're in the practice room. So we're going to take our first finger and go up to the first string, ninth fret, play it. Take the second finger, go up to the first string, tenth fret. Then take the third finger, uh, first string, 11th fret. Then the fourth finger, first string, 12th fret. So you're literally starting with the first finger and then adding one finger to each fret going up on the first string. And you notice I kind of have this uh, the guitar tilt just a little bit so you can see um, my, my fingers placing on the strings. This will look a little bit different to you, but it should look about the same. Notice also my thumb. You're gonna to want to, you don't want your thumb too far over here to the center. You want it somewhere in the vicinity of probably the ninth or the uh, eighth fret. Um, there'll be varying. Um, you don't have too far over the neck. You can have it back a little bit. Everyone's hands a little bit different, so I kind of just have to give you ranges and see what. Uh, you have to figure out what's comfortable for you. Generally speaking, somewhere between, you know, in the in between the ninth fret and the eighth fret, between these two spots right here is gonna be the best. Uh, the other thing is a lot of people have, they wanna turn their wrist like this and, and uh, drop the wrist away from the neck. Uh, that feels better at first because it allows your fingers to reach more easily, but it actually makes it harder. So be sure, it's kinda like, um, your your hands not going to be doing this. You're not going to be bending the wrist super uh, a bunch when you're you don't want to reach around the neck, so to speak. You want to let the fingers do more of the work. Uh, and if you have your wrist in the right position, it actually makes the warm up a lot easier. So here we go again. We're just going to take first, second, third, fourth finger uh, going straight up. So it's first, second, third, fourth. One, two, three, four. You just go to the next string and do the exact same thing starting on the ninth fret. And then here's the uh, third string, fourth string, fifth string. Now you will probably not be able to go this fast at first. So starting out, if you need to go, that's okay. If you gotta go slower, that's okay. The big thing is that you have nice clean notes and it's a nice steady rhythm. So you don't really want to have a pause when you go from string to string. So that's the way it should sound if you're doing this, where you have these big pauses between uh, going from uh, string to string, you need to slow down. All right, so. Going through my warm up, all the way up here to the top, into the sixth string. Then all you're gonna do is go down one fret and you're gonna do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four on the sixth string and work your way back down. When you get back to the first string, go down a fret again. And also another note here, you shouldn't have a big pause. It should not stop the time. You should not stop uh, the tempo. You should just reach down. So now we're going to work our way back up. Good. So, and generally, so I'm down at the seventh fret, somewhere between probably around the fifth fret, the, the frets will get far enough apart that it'll be a little bit harder for you. So at first, it's definitely okay to um, only work down to the fifth fret. So taking that same concept, now we're gonna to try to do this in reverse. But you're gonna start with your fourth finger now, or your pinky finger on the first string, 12th fret. So you will start with all your fingers on the frets at first, and then just release. So it goes fourth finger, 12th fret, first string, third finger, 11th fret, first string, second finger, 10th fret, first string, first finger, ninth fret, first string. And you'll do the same thing, move up to the next string, keeping all fingers down at first. Then when you get up here to the top, just go down one 
fret, continue. Try not to have a pause. And I, also, by the way, I'm doing all down strokes for right now. If you're a super, super new beginner player to uh, guitar, you can start off with just down strokes with your pick, uh, which I'll show you a little bit later how to do in another uh, lesson. Uh, if you're a little bit more advanced, do down up picking. So that's to get you started on your warm up. Now, that's the basic one, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one. Now, if you want to make it harder, then you can start mixing up the fingers. So it'd be like, uh, for instance, I could go one, four, three, two. So I'll start with the first finger, keep it down, then do the pinky, then release to the third, release to the second. So it goes one, four, three, two, next string. First finger, fourth finger, third, second. First finger, third finger, fourth, second. Again, go as slow as you need to. So that's probably the next um, in difficulty. The one after four, three, two, one would be one, four, three, two. The opposite of that would be four, one, two, three. So we'll start with all fingers down, four, first finger, second finger, third, fourth finger, first finger, second finger, third, first finger, fourth, and so forth. And then when you get up to the top, same thing, you're going to go down one fret, but keep the same pattern. And go down the strings again. So that's the uh, general way that you do your warm-up. Um, to go a little bit more difficult than that, we could do, um, you could go two, one, three, four. And then of course do all that. I'm just going to show you some three, four, two, one. Uh, one, three, four, two is a particularly difficult one. One, three, four, two. Um, then you could also do one, three, two, four. Two four one three two four one three. I'm oh, sorry. Two four one three two four one three. Uh, you could also go four two three one. And let's see if I can come up with another. Oh, three two one four. Two three four one. So the possibilities are pretty lim limitless when you uh, start out. Uh, I have some other variations that you can do with the warm up for right now. This is your basic warm up that you're gonna do. Sit down, do it for a couple minutes uh, every time that you start practicing. Again, if you wanna see some more uh, videos, there are some at randysolar.com. I'll see y'all next time.